Okay, I'm here with my good friend Joe Toulon. Joey, how are you today? Fantastic, thank you. That's good to know. We are uh, talking a little bit about square to square and the difference between what we would call a conventional putter mm -hmm. and the square to square. So we have a putter here. It's a uh, two-time major champion Xander Shoffley's putter, which you know very, very well. Yep. Quickly explain just the dynamics of this putter, like, you know, the toe hang, just, you know, the, the makeup of it. Yeah, I mean, it's got a little bit of toe hang with that hosel, obviously gives it a full shaft of offset. So that helps certain players with alignment. It also helps kind of match up the the putter and how it wants to swing with their stroke. I think the key for uh, you know a lot of players, PJ Tour players, any really good player, is finding something that matches up well with how they want to release it. Some players have tendencies with wanting to feel a little bit more rotation because right. it makes them more aware of the face. Others, um, you know, want something that is going to want to stay square a little bit easier with their stroke path, which is why you know I think this works for some, and I think a square to square is going to work well for a lot of players as well. Okay, so the idea behind square to square, in simple terms, it's a zero torque putter. So zero torque meaning that it's not, it's basically has an aversion to twisting. Correct. Okay, so what I was told through R&D and some of the testing that we've done is it sort of self-corrects where a player would have a tendency to kind of manipulate the putter head to make it work get back online. This is actually working against that. Correct. So yeah. it's more of a self-correcting situation. Yeah. So I have a few questions on this. So if I look at Xander's putter, yep. and if I'm setting up to it like in a conventional way, maybe my hand's slightly forward or whatever, you know, the loft is the loft. It's two and a half or three degrees of loft. Mm -hmm. You set this thing down, and if you set it up the same way I set up at Xander's putter, it's about six degrees of loft. Correct. So yeah. this is built to sort of have your hands locked into a certain position yep. to get it to three, three degrees of loft. Correct. What, like, explain that to me. Like, what's the, what's the benefit of that? Yeah, getting your hands a little bit more in line with the face. I think it helps with the, uh, with the zero torque and the, and the physics of why that works. Okay. Um, you got the loft built in the face, and then you got a little bit of the shaft lean that, you know, add those together. That's why you have that, you know, six-ish degrees of loft. But it's, it's built in so you can get into that kind of three-degree forward press to present, you know, the right amount of loft to the putter. Uh, but in that position, it just wants to, to swing a little bit more naturally without any sort of outside forces, i.e. the player, right. um, putting any any unnecessary torque on it. So that putter just, the face wants to stay squarer right. to your stroke path. So it's taking some of the ownership out of the player's hands and putting a little bit more responsibility on the putter. Yep. So the one thing that I also notice is it's eliminating a few variables. So if I'm setting this putter up, as far as alignment's concerned, I have my lines. You know, Xander's got two lines going that way and one in the middle. Yep. You know, a lot of these guys are really good, and him and Derek, you got to really work on squaring the face up, making sure that that's, that's the perpendicular line to the target, which we have with, you know, this Jailbird has Versa technology in it. Yep, works so, really well for a lot of players. So, but if I'm setting it up, I'm eliminating variables, because if I can eliminate the, the appearance of the white face, which essentially means that it's square, yeah. and I'm locked in here, that's, yeah. those are checkpoints that I didn't have with a normal putter that I do have now with this one. Yeah, and honestly, you know, I've heard that from numerous tour players over the years of why they like to see a white insert there because it gives them another key of how to set up and right. make sure they're in the same setup position every time. Okay. It kind of just relates to other you know, AI or white hot inserts that we've had in the past. So one of the cool things, and these, this shape or this idea is becoming, catching a lot of steam. There's a few manufacturers that are doing this very successfully and people yeah. will ask like, what's the difference between this and maybe some of the other ones on the market? This has Odyssey technology. You have the best putter put company in the world doing that idea, putting all the Odyssey technology into a zero torque putter. Yep. Okay, yep. so, well, really interesting stuff. These are obviously gonna be very, very popular. On tour, you, these guys have done a ton of testing, a lot of, not a ton of converts so far, it's we're about two weeks into the process. Early but, in the process, but a lot of, uh, a lot of good intel that we're lot getting of, from guys. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So you're going to see a lot of these out on the PGA Tour, LPGA Tour all over the world, but we're really excited about Square to Square. If you have any more questions on Square to Square or anything in the Odyssey line, go to CallawayGolf.com, OdysseyGolf.com, World of Wonder website. That's Joe. I'm Johnny from the Putting Green. That's Square to Square. We're out of here.